Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for 12 rounds, and it will be for the WBA Featherweight Championship of the World. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors. Riyadh Season, 32 Red and Unibet. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, area representative Ian Metcalf, along with the World Boxing Association. President, Gilberto Mendoza Jr. Supervisor, Dr. Nina Radcliffe. Timekeeper, Phil Morris. Our three judges assigned, scoring on a 10-point must system will be Steve Gray of England, Jean Robert Lane of Monaco, and Gloria Martinez of the United States. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Bob Williams of England. And now, boxing fans, Joining us live on TNT Sports and boxing fans here in Liverpool. The time has arrived for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the red corner. He comes to the ring wearing black with purple and weighed in officially at eight stone, 13 pounds. Coming to us from Santa Ana, California, USA. He brings a professional record consisting of 34 wins, four defeats with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former two-time world title challenger, Ronnie Rios! And his opponent across the ring in this main event, he is the defending world champion. Fighting tonight out of the blue corner, he comes to the ring wearing black trunks and weighing the same as his opponent, eight stone, 13 pounds. Undefeated, he has 20 wins, one draw, with 11 of his 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his first world title defense, he is the reigning and defending WBA featherweight champion of the world from right here, Liverpool, Nick the Wrecking Ball. Okay, gentlemen, I've spoken to dressing rooms. That's the belt line, okay? In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times, touch gloves. The final instructions from Bob Williams. Nicky Ball, could he ever truly have believed that this would all happen and happen so quickly? But here he is now defending the final tap of the gloves. The raised punches gloves favoured by Ball. We know about his power right from the get-go. Rios can be a very sharp starter as well, Richie. Yeah, indeed, and obviously Rios um, has got the, the five-inch reach advantage, and he's, he's got to try and use that. But yeah, I think Nick Ball, you know, he um, his, his feet are so quick and uh, with with quick hands as well, Paul. He sort of. Uh, snubs that out if you like with a lot of his opponents that height and reach advantage because he starts really quickly and he's quick actually closing that gap down so unless you've got a razor sharp jab and you can keep your distance then nick ball is gonna get to you at some stage and he starts really quickly and again rios he's actually crouching down taking nick ball on and i don't think that's a good a good thing to do it's just in his nature to fight that way richie he's done it and come up short just by fine margins against really brilliant fighters. Maybe he thinks he can put some manners on young Mr. Ball tonight. That would be a mistake in my view. And already some of these shots are thudding into Rios from Ball. 
Yeah, and what the, a lot of Bulls uh, opponents don't realise, Paul, he's got a terrific jab as well, and he delivers it with a lot of power, and now he's starting to land some big power shots here. Smart enough, Ball just to back away and show the respect to Rios. Could have been a bit of cat and mouse about that from Rios. Little flashes of the quality work from Rios in the opening phase of this, but by and large, Ball has been brisk and business-like once more. Go to work, they say, to Rios from his corner. Try and claim something back in this round, but Ball is landing all the shots that really count so far. And he's got good variation in his shots, Paul. You know, there's a couple of good right hooks going in from, from um, Nick Ball here, closing that gap down, using the jab as the measuring tool, and then whips that right hand around the lead hand of his opponent. There it is there, look, right on cue, and again, whips a couple in, and they're getting through. Started to shift Rios off his balance a little bit, and it's very early to be saying that. If it goes on in this fashion, he may soon start to say to himself, I actually have not fought anybody like this. The guys I have fought are world-class. Vargas and Akhmadaliev, slightly different. So you can see the tactics from Ronnie Rios here. He's keeping the guard high, he's keeping the chin down. And he's crouching down and he's trying to catch a lot of the probably shots on top of the head and the forehead, which can obviously result in a hand injury. You can see what he's trying to do, but... Well, I think this has been a good round for Nick Ball. He's actually got a, through with a lot of punches here. Little shot, right uppercut, and a knowing look across the ring from Ronnie Rios. As if to say, yeah, you are all that already. Been a very good start from Nicky Ball, echoed in the corner by Paul Stevenson, but also quite measured. You know what, Paul? We are boxing like this. It's only going to be a matter of time before um, Nick Ball lands lands a clean shot because the opportunities are there, especially with this right hand that he's whipping around the lead hand of, of Rios. We're going to really test. How, see how, how tough Rios is here, and again, big shots going in from Nick Moore. He's tough and he's come to win Ronnie Rios, but at the moment he's in danger of being outpowered completely by Nicky Ball here. At this stage in his career, can it truly say, be said to be wise? 34 years of age, standing in the line of fire like this. At his best, Richie, I've seen him in fights where around the sides, a bit like that there, yeah. he's a, such a snaky, clever puncher, yeah. but he's not landing those shots tonight he's too square yeah he is indeed ideal for ball yeah absolutely um rios for me he's using the wrong tactics here. he's being outworked and he's really risking it but that that's wasn't what, too bad that's a little bit of rios of five years ago right there but yeah. can he sustain it anymore and it's the shots he's taking in between these bursts that he's doing paul that's that's his problem look at that for a lead up but what a shot that was Ball absolutely brilliant at retaining balance through the combinations. Forget about the power for a moment. And it's already started to look a bit slow at times here, troublingly, from Rios's point of view. Ball is able to work at his own pace, Rich. He's yeah. not rushing his work. Well, not only work at his own pace, but look at the confidence. He keeps switching from orthodox to take Paul. And look at this for a sustained attack, Paul. Rios going back in a straight line, pausing for... A respite on the rope, that may not be a very good idea for very long here. Can he fall again? Upstairs, and will he go downstairs? Rios struggling for room, struggling for time in this fight. He can't surely be saying to himself, I'm going to weather the storm, Rios. Well, is that the plan? It's a hell of a risk, isn't it? What a gamble that is. Because he's, he's, he's fighting... Nick Ball's exactly the way Nick Ball wants him to box here, just standing in front of him, crouching down so he doesn't, Nick Ball doesn't really have to go looking for him 
too much. I mean, look, he's just in punching range all the time. Yes, we're certainly going to see how tough Ronnie Rios is tonight, Paul, because he's on the receiving end here. Again, it's a good round for Nick Ball. If he wasn't so seasoned suddenly, Ball, at the very top level, having fought Vargas and Ford in recent fights, it might have been a different story. There's a bit of blood right on the bell for Ball, but I don't think it's serious. He's taken a lot of damage, a lot of punishments. Just keep giving it to him. Keep so here's the work in that second round that they seem to like from their man, Nicky Ball. Yeah, there's these right hands that are getting through Paul. Two, three got through there. Lead left uppercut there. Super punch indeed. Ball already halfway across the ring to welcome back Ronnie Rios for round three. If Rios wants to persist with this plan, it seems destined that he will be overwhelmed in the end. What a terrific start to the round, Paul from Ball. For Ronnie Rios just tried a shot, he missed the target, and Ball countered with a terrific punch. And again, this is, these are cracking shots from Ball. Oh, fantastic. Almost out of this world, certainly world class. Rios springs to his feet. Bob Williams is looking in his eyes. He's, Asking the question of the moral fiber of Rios. Do you really want this? Do you want to put yourself through what is coming your way? Here it comes again. Ball is irrepressible. Ball seems unstoppable. Ball, fighting like this, seems destined to climb to the true elite level in world boxing. Who can handle this? Yeah, incredible again. Sustained attack from Nick Ball. Getting through with the upper guts. Right hands over the top. It's all Nick Ball at this stage. Ronnie Rios just on those ropes, a bad position. Has he recovered? Nick Ball goes for him again. The shots are just bouncing off him. The ones that Rios offers, and Ball is just composing himself, taking them on his arms, and preparing to launch attack after attack. He's Bob actually, Williams is examining him very closely, Richie. Yes, the he third is. Man. He's actually more vulnerable when he lets his hands go, Ronnie Rios. This is a sustained attack again from Nick Moore. Referee really close there, I thought. This is when he's vulnerable, when he actually lets his hands go, Paul. Oh. Look at that for a shot there again from Nick Moore. It's absolutely devastating. An unstoppable torrent. Low from Rios, two or three times. Paul spent a lot of energy in this round up to now. Paul has really gone for it. He's gone for the stoppage here. Ronnie Rios, very experienced, remember, but again on the receiving end. In terms of defiance, almost madness by way of an approach. Rios really takes the biscuit for this, but he is a sitting target, a stationary target, offering so little coming back. Ball can set himself for attack after attack. Bob Williams is poised. Yeah, he's shown so much bottle here, Ronnie Rios. Taking these shots, but Ball, look at the referee, how close he is. He's got to throw something back here, Rios, and the referee will jump in. One clean shot away, I would say. Last few seconds of this third round. Will he see it through? Will Ball finish it here and now? It's looked likely throughout the third round. All the kudos in the world to Rios if he goes back to his corner, still in the fight, which I think he is going to do, somehow. That was brilliant, Richie, but it was hard to watch. Unbelievable, what a hard man this fella is. Let's have a look at it here, Nick Ball. So there's the shot, it was a lazy jab from Rios and he gets caught then with a barrage of punches from Nick Ball, who really went for it. He knew he caught um, his opponent here, Rios, with a terrific shot. Lead left uppercut there went in and just kept the attack going, sustained the pressure and really went for it. I thought he went for the stoppage here, Nick Ball, no question. And I think he was probably one punch away from actually stopping Rios. So the referee was so close at this stage, Paul. He's just waiting for a clean punch to land. Unbelievable barrage of shots going in here from Nick Ball. Close to the stoppage, but he gets through. I suppose miracles do happen. We've seen one punch finishes the other way. But barring that, 
This has been an electrifying show already, again, from Ball. Yes, yeah, indeed. He gets through, doesn't he? I mean, look at Rios, he's gone, he's keeping the hands up, he's trying to keep the elbows tucked in, but shots get through. He's leaning forward, remember, so he's making it a little bit easier for Nick Ball, but nevertheless, Nick Ball, there's not a lot to aim at there, but he still gets through with the shots. Nick Ball sustains the pressure, volume of punches, and look at this again, what an attack! That, was, that wasn't a bad response, though, from Rios. Oh, almost knocked off balance again. Rios thought long and hard about coming back into this hardest of sports, but he went away and he worked diligently and very quietly for a whole year to get his conditioning right, even before his own team would talk to him about a comeback. I wonder what his thoughts are right now. Maybe he'd say, you know what, this kind of combat is what I missed. It's certainly very, very hard to see a way he comes through the other side of it. Yeah, this is tough, isn't it? For real, see what fair play to him, he's still there, but you're just waiting for Nick, Nick Ball to land another clean shot. Lots of opportunities. Like I said, when Rios actually lets his hands go, that's when he's more vulnerable, that's when the openings start to appear. This is where he's got to watch it. Those shots have got to be crisp and sharp, and he's got to get those hands back up very quickly. Ball almost standing square and just waiting to pivot and throw the big shots. Rios backs onto the ropes again, takes two or three straight right hands in that excellent combination from Ball. You're right though, Richie. Rios has had better moments in this round, as if to say, I've, I've looked into the abyss in this fight, what can be worse? Yeah, exactly, but how much can he keep taking, though, Paul? This is the big question. Again on the receiving end, Ball going, landing, that's another good shot from him. It really was. Rios didn't catch it on the way back out again, did he? And another good crisp jab from Ball. I mean, I take my hat off to Ron and Rios. What a tough man he really is. Oh, lead left uppercut again from Nick Ball. What a super shot. Great variation in his work. Going for it, Paul. This time in his own corner. Rios doing his best to shut himself down like a hedgehog. But it, he's oh. not spiky enough from his own little shell is he that's the problem it's easy for ball again he can't afford to try and throw shots like that and leave himself open rios at least rios had a moment or two in that one Welcome back, everybody. It's a proper world title fight tonight here on TNT Sports, and it's hard, but it's hard, most of all, for Ronnie Rios. Nicky Ball is right on top of his game once more tonight, and he is breathtaking like this. He's surely miles clear so far. On the other hand, Richie, Bob Williams, the referee, was maybe a moment or two away from stopping it, and Rios knows that. And that, having been through so much in his career, may say, listen, I'm on free time here now. Yeah. But if he allows the space, it's going to be the same and more. Punishment after punishment, round after round. Well, he's obviously trained really hard for this one, Rios. He's in good condition, because to, to take this type of stick and still come through it, that shows he's really fit, so he'd have had a, a really hard camp. He's trained really well for this one. But again, we know that, that Nick Ball, you know, he's relentless. He just keeps it going. He seems to, to, to punch as quick in every round, Paul. Same speed, same power. Rios, for me, when he's letting his hands actually go in twos and threes, that's probably when he's more vulnerable and open. I think he's got to stick to single shots and maybe the odd right uppercut on the inside, most certainly. Those kind of shots in his heyday, those lefts to the body particularly, yeah. were extremely effective. But can he fight at the pace that Ball is setting? I rather doubt it, Ricky. You see, those are a little bit better shots, those singles there. He's having glimpses here. But that's mainly because I think Nick Ball has just naturally slowed down a little bit. And he's keeping his distance a little bit more now, Ball. 
So maybe he's taking a round off himself. He's put a lot of effort into these rounds, remember, Nick Ball. He's won every one of them. He's got a 10-8 in there as well with the knockdown. But Rios just starting to believe in himself a little bit here. So Nick Ball's got to try and snub this out. This isn't a bad response from Rios. He is defying logic to a great degree. Potentially, he's going to win this round at the moment. The blood from the nose of Ball going everywhere, to be honest. But he's undeterred by that. The great thing is, the way it's gone so far, there is no need for Ball to rush into anything, Richie. Rios no. has got it all on to clamber back into this fight, even if it does keep going. And he's taken the odd shot here, though, Nick Ball, but still, the speed's still with him. He just naturally slowed down a little bit. He might be just taking a little bit of a breather, understandably poor, the pace that he's set. But that's just allowed Rios and the corner, Rios' corner, are, are shouting at him and they're trying to encourage him because he's been on the receiving end. This has probably been his best round, Paul. Oh, to so. The jab has started to work a little bit better. Paul trying to make sure he claims the round with that attack right on the bell, but Rios might be well pleased with what's happened there. Do you want to spit? Feed him through your mouth, lovely and cool. Feed through your mouth, nice and calm. Missed. Well, that nose under control in yeah. no time, Andrew's good. So now, more the same, but start switching the attacks to the body. Look for your uppercuts because you're landing them, you know what yeah. I mean? Your jab. Just keep tidy, tight and tidy. Yeah. You're beating them up, slowly breaking them down. But don't give them any, you know what I mean? Give them nothing away. That is Work Mr. the body, Stevenson. bring in the uppercuts. And the Emporium for the education of the young pugilists of Liverpool in operation. Everybody is calm, everybody is focused. The Everton Red Triangle on this great night for the club. And Ball, the star pupil from the academy at this moment. And he's bossing a world title fight here in Liverpool. But world class Ronnie Rios is not going to just walk out and leave Ball to take the accolades. He is going to try to make Ball work for this. Yes, most certainly. I thought Ronnie Rios had his best round in the last round. Give him a bit of confidence. There's a superb jab there from Ball. That was excellent. Just a simple shot, stepping in. Short range jab, if you like. But what a shot that was as he's moving forward. And he's listening to his coach there, Paul Stevenson, sensibly said, get back behind your jab, set up the attacks, break the opponent down, that's what he said. And I think, you know, Ball knows he's in a fight here, Rios has weathered the storm a little bit, but it's still all Nick Ball. If it is to be a loss for Rios, there's a way to lose, isn't there, for a man like Rios, and this is it. In boxing parlance, going out on your shield but if he keeps going like this we may see him again in a big fight because people will notice a how brave he has been b how he kept going under the most extreme pressure in round three yeah. and then richie since then in flashes good boxing from him yeah, keeping ball at it yeah, he's certainly making nick ball think a little bit Again, good uppercut on the inside. Rios felt the uppercut, yes. but Bob Williams said you were hanging on to him a bit. Yeah, he's just giving him a little shove in the into that corner. I don't know if he wasn't too pleased with that. And nevertheless, set it well again behind that jab. That's another shot from Rios and a good response from Nick Ball. He seems to put everything into every shot, doesn't he, Nick Ball? Yeah. To great effect normally. Yeah. Maybe what we're seeing as well, Richie, is the ring rust falling off Rios as the rounds go by because at his own pace in this fight, he is starting to produce. But when he's been out for so long with only one comeback fight, nowhere near this level, what a rude reintroduction it has been tonight yeah, for Ronnie Rios. Absolutely.
but maybe he loves it. Well, you know, you, you've got to give him great credit for coming back the way he has because yeah. he's been under so much pressure, he's been hurt in there. At one point he was very close to being stopped, but he weathered the storm, he got through it, and now that's given him a little bit of uh, momentum. And he's clawing his way back, or trying to anyway. Leading with the hook there, that was a bad shot there for Nick Ball, but he, was, he, he uh, got back into it quite well there after that shot. Wow, it's breathless stuff. Captivating world title fight from here at ringside. Let's see how it looks from the perspective of Mr. Steve Bunt. Steve. Breathless indeed. It is absolutely Dempo. In the third round, I think we all thought it was going to be over, but he's worked his way back into the fight, Rios. He might not be winning the rounds, but he's making Ball think. Thankfully, Ball slowed down a bit. So far, we've had a fight of two halves. We're moving into the final stretch now. Be interested to see what Rios does. I'm not quite sure Rios has got that much left. It was a great plan. I don't think it worked, but he's made Nick Ball think. And that's all we want from our champions, that we see them think and hit people on the chin, Dempo. Richie, your scorecard. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, I've only given um, Ronnie Rios what, one round. That was the previous uh, a couple of rounds ago. So I think Nick Ball is well in control. He's well on top. But uh, there are signs from Ronnie Rios that he has getting a little bit of belief into his boxing. But Nick Ball's well ahead here, Paul, no question. Andy O'Neill in the corners had a busy night alongside Paul Stevenson. Swabbing away the blood from that nose injury of some sort. We may hear more about the nose after the fight, but in the heat of battle, forget it. He goes over Rios. And it's going to be counted as a knockdown. Rios doesn't agree with that. It was a good left hook that went in there, wasn't it? But at the same time, maybe not balanced. We'll have to have a look at it again at the end of the round. But certainly, Ball definitely caught him with a left hook. A very good moment it. again, Richie, for Ball here, perhaps, as we start the second half of the fight. Much like the first half. That's nice there, just maintaining that gap, Nick Ball, and then just punching into that space. That's what he's so good at. Short and mid range power puncher. It just leans back and finds that room in space. Bad position for Rios to be on, on top of the um, just above us on the ropes. And he's really that's a cracking shot again from Ball there. And that lead up a cut Paul. Belting shot. The pressure's building again. Ball is boiling up. Rios right into his own corner. But friendless in the world at this moment here in Liverpool. The boy from the red triangle, the red ring post behind Rios. The good uppercuts again went in from Nick Ball. He's a bad position for Rios. Gets caught again there. This is these are bad times there for Rios. Nick Ball, I think, sends his victory here. Ball, he's just got to steady himself. He does. It would be foolhardy at this stage to walk onto one, Richie, when he's yeah. in such a clear lead. Isn't it intriguing at world level? Every time he's fought for a world title, three inside what, seven months? Yeah. Completely different test. Yeah, and, um, this is a really tough fight for both boxers here. Great shot again. Nick Ball, simple jab. We are trying to respond. How much has he got left? Setting up these attacks again, Nick Ball behind that jab, sensible, listening to his corner. The Rios corner just urging him to get, pick the pace up, easier said than done. Maybe the Rios of ten years ago would have obliged, but not now. He's in against the kid who's, what, seven years younger and fresher and full of belief that he's going to retain his world title. Paul Stevenson says good round again wasn't quite at the level of the third in terms of the destruction Richie but it wasn't far behind no not at all it's at the start of the, uh, the round 
Let's have a look here. So, yeah, it's a more or less on the side of the head, isn't it? And it is a slight push also, but I don't know whether it was actually a clean shot, Paul. It was sort of on the temple or on the side of the head. But here he keeps the attacks going. A couple of good uppercuts going in from Nick Ball. The referee very close indeed. Just taking a look at the action there. But another round for Nick Ball. To sum up how hard this fight has been, the referee Bob Williams, while he waited to draw the two fighters to the middle of the ring, he looked at his own shirt. His shirt front is absolutely covered in blood. And at ringside, there is blood all over the place. All over the place. Yeah, what a all. trade it is. Yeah, unbelievable. Ball with an educated jab to start the round. Can he keep on turning up the pressure, as he's done in the best spells of what's been a fairly devastating performance all round so far? Yes, Can Rios has. keep on responding? Can Rios keep taking these shots, Paul? Because the only chance for me that Rios has got here is if Nick Ball runs out of gas. And we know he doesn't do that. He can maintain this sort of pace for 12 rounds. Absolutely. And he can produce these fast, hard, crisp shots late on in a contest. That's why he's a world champion. And Rios will be hoping and praying that he can slow down. But there's no sign just yet. Two of Ball's inside the distance wins have come very late indeed in 12-round championship fights. And one of the big fears, I think, dispelled already at this stage, that because it's Liverpool, because it means so much to Ball tonight, because it means so much to all the people of Liverpool, that Ball would just throw too much petrol on the fire too soon. I don't think he fell for that, do you? No, I don't, Paul. He just got caught with a good right up a good there. But again, keep switching orthodox to save Paul. Oh, lovely shot again from Nick Ball. Big right hand. Ball stalking his prey again. Rios knows the role he's playing in this tonight, but he also knows, with all his experience, that if you keep on persisting, sometimes the fates will favour you. He's going to need a favour from somewhere, but he knew better than staying on the ropes a couple of moments ago. He's back into the centre of the ring, almost defiantly saying to Ball, how many times can you raise the ante. How well, many times can you keep on producing the big shots? Yeah. Like we've said, Paul, the only chance he's got for me is if Nick Ball just slows down, runs out of gas, or he actually catches him with a knockout shot. Remember, he's got decent power, 17 knockouts in the 34 victories that he's got, so he has decent power, Ronnie Rios. But, um, like I've said, at this stage, doesn't seem to be any sign that Nick Ball is going to slow down. No. He's been beaten out of the gate in so many ways, Rios, but he still believes if it's his night, he can get lucky. And he's right to think like that. He turned ball for a moment. Yeah. Rios and the art of survival. There's a book in it somewhere. He's been brilliant in that respect tonight. When you're on the inside, you're obviously you don't want right. to get off with uh, shots. Push your shoulders around. It's the moment now to bring in Anthony Crawler. Anthony, here. how are you seeing it? it no, it's been a very dominant display from Nick Ball so far. I mean, listen, Ronnie Rios has definitely been having success. He's whipped in some lovely left hooks to the body and his straight shots and obviously the uppercut, which I think caused the damage to Nick Ball's nose. But I think Richie said it a few times, I think that um, Rios is in danger more when he lets his hands go, but he's got to do that to try and win the fight now. I think the catch and counter from Nick Ball plays a big part, and if he can invite that a little bit now and then pick his shots after he stuns Rios, which he keeps doing, I think he can get the, um, the finish. Thank you, Anthony Crawler. Four rounds to go. It's still a finish line just over the hill as far as Ronnie Rios is concerned tonight, but he's got that in mind quite clearly. And if he's on his feet, still in the 12th round, he reckons probably I can do something extraordinary and stun this arena here in Liverpool. But 
the plus, even if it were stopped now, Richie, is that Rios can come away from this, and if he chooses, nobody can argue that he's over the hill because he has produced, in his own terms, a very, very good performance against a young champion right on top of his game. Oh, absolutely, he's not over the hill. He's really responded well, hasn't he, in this contest. From um, He's been under the, under the cosh in, in a lot of these rounds, but he's come through, fair play. He's really shown... A, a true champion spirit, if you like. And uh, remember, this is his what third shot at a world title. Is it third time? Look, it doesn't appear to be because Nick Ball's well winning it, but he's still there. He's still trading and he's still believing. So it's a funny game, uh, Paul Boxing. You know Nick Ball's in command here, but there's still a few rounds left. And I think Ronnie Rios still believes he can win this contest, and so he's still dangerous. I know Paul Stevenson is one of the most quietly spoken men in boxing and uh, a very measured and considered developer of young boxers, but a, a lot of his game is built around aggression. He wants his fighters to be exciting, which they are. He wants them to be aggressive, which they are. He wants them to dominate, which they do. But does there come a point, Richie, when you are a world champion at home where you... You, the, you say to yourself, or the corner says, listen, let's just make sure we win it. Yeah, very true, yeah, Paul. That would be the sensible approach, wouldn't it? But um, And he's just slowed down a little bit here, has Nick Ball. As I say that, he puts in a three or four punch combination. But uh, that, Ron Arias has had, uh, had a better round here. He's worked very well with his jab. There he is there, look. And um, Nick Ball, there's no more head movement, so he's just slowed down naturally. And as I say that, Paul, then look at this attack now from him. The thing is, from Rios's point of view, though, Richie, for me, ring rust was so apparent early on. And why not? He's been out of this level for so long. But as the rounds have gone along, muscle memory comes into it. He's been through this before. He's getting his own rhythm little by little. It surely won't be enough, but it's enough to keep the fight captivated. Yeah, it is, yeah. 100%. The uppercut finds the oh, ball. Super. Super uppercut that was from Ball. Rios felt it, but Rios knows how to just recompose himself, set the feet. He's waiting to hear the bell now. He won't do anything at the end of this round. That's it. He's got every trick in the book. And Ball's going to learn a lot from all that, Richie, isn't he, tonight? Absolutely, Paul. Uh, a tough round that was, and a better round, I thought, for Rios. You're doing a great job, said Stevenson, but Richie, have we also heard Paul Stevenson say to Nicky Ball, let's just make sure we win it? Yeah, absolutely. And also concentrate, which is very, very important. Just keep concentrating all the time. Because at World Championship level, Paul, against a tough guy like this, you've got to concentrate. He's still in there. So sensible coaching there from Paul Stevenson. Rios beaten by Ray Vargas on points. Vargas, the man, of course, that Nicky Ball faced. First time round in Riyadh. Many believed he'd done enough in that fight. He had him down twice, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't get the decision. Didn't get it, did he? Well, I thought but he that's the win. level Rios has performed at. A close victory when he did claim the title against a really talented opponent, second time round. It wasn't a very big margin of victory at all against Ray Ford, so Ball does know how to get over the line, and I think he needs to show that now, not to walk into a trap, Richie. No, not at all. Again, 
I think uh, Nick Ball, he, he's such a deceiving boxer, Nick Ball, because you think he's an out-and-out, short-to-mid-range power puncher, but at times he, he, he leads with a superb jab, you know, and he moves them feet in, it's very correct way of boxing. There it is there, look, not too far away with that one. You see, the, it's perfect boxing, that is. He's boxing at long range with the jab to set up the power shots that follow. Excellent. And here comes the next salvo. The whole crowd rises with Nicky Ball. Pouring on the pressure, Rios is out of the ring! Will Bob Williams give him the time to get back in? He crawls under the bottom rope, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. His will to keep going is beyond words, and the yeah, towel is the coming! In. The towel's in! It's all over! And Nicky Ball has retained his world title here in Liverpool! He dazzled, he was devastating, but Rios refused to go away. And in the end, Ronnie Rios is saved by his own corner. Incredible, Paul, you said it. Talk about going out on your shield, that's exactly what Ronnie Rios has done there. Nick Ball put it, put together there some cracking shots towards the end of that round, the end of the contest rather. Setting up behind the jab, getting his opponent into the, into the corner and then letting those big shots go. Threes and fours that went in, actually Ronnie Rios out of the ring. We've rarely seen that before and the referee just diving in, just literally trying to save him. It was an incredible finish for Nick Ball, but very, very impressive. What a tough fight that was and what a tough man Ronnie Rios was. Tremendous stuff. It's only the start of a great story, this, for Nicky Ball, but when it's all said and done, we will always remember what we've seen tonight, and people will come up to him and say, that was a proper world title fight. A great defence by a Liverpool boxer in Liverpool, and that's worth more than money. Yeah, absolutely, Paul, well said. Family and friends in the ring with Nick Ball there congratulating him. Well, what a tremendous contest that was. Time and again, Nick Ball looked, looked like he was only one or two punches away from victory, but Ronnie Rios come through the storm every time. But it was a storm, probably too many uh, towards the end there. What a performance that was from Nick Ball. Power punching, good with his jab, lead left uppercuts went in. He had everything in that contest, and Paul Stevenson there just congratulating him. He's probably the calmest man in here, Paul Stevenson. Good coaching from the corner, I thought. Yeah, that was an all-round terrific performance from the whole camp. It's been a brilliant night. Paul Stevenson, I don't think he sleeps anymore. He's got all these top-level fighters, got youngsters coming through, one or two on the card tonight. Can I point out they've got an amateur show next weekend as well? <laughs> <laughs> well, amateur boxing in Liverpool is so strong. Very well schooled boxers here, you know, brilliant. But what a display it was. Obviously, the crowd here are hyped out of this world to see this from their fighter. But the respect for Ronnie Rios is very, very important as well. Let's have a look at it here, Paul. So there it is, setting up behind the jab. Look at these jabs going in from Nick Ball. Then that right hand comes through. But Ronnie Rios is in trouble now because there's another, another jab that comes through. Then that, there's that lead, left uppercut followed with the right hand. So it was all set up behind the jab. There it is there. Lead left uppercut comes in, right hand comes in. What a combination that was. But Rios, he rode that little storm, but in the corner here then, he really put them together. He sends victory, puts threes and fours together. Nick Ball going for it, out the ring he goes, but what a brave man Ronnie Rios was. Just took a little bit too many, but Nick Ball just keeps the attack going, sustained pressure. Down he goes, out of the ring he goes. A tremendous performance from both boxers, I thought. All credit to Ronnie Rios also. He takes so much from this. It's a city with a big heart, if and when Rios and his camp return to Liverpool. I'm sure Liverpool will open their arms and give Rios a warm embrace. He's earned it tonight. That was the moment that the towel came in. Yeah, tremendous, wasn't it, Paul? We're just looking at it again here. Two, three, four shots going in, all hitting the target. And Rios then just falls out of the ring, but it was a great display there from Nick Ball, finishing again from him, tremendous, finding the space, the time, and the accuracy with those power shots, that's what it's all about, and Nick Ball again displayed that superbly well.
I think it's stating the obvious, Richie, to say that the towel was also bloodstained when it came in. Yeah, incredible. You don't see many American corners throw the towel in Paul. No, so you don't. You really don't, but uh, yeah. They had to, didn't they? Tremendous from both boxes. Rios has actually left the ring, understandably, so the stage belongs to Nicky Ball and only to Nicky Ball, and Thomas Treiber will now lead the crowd in saluting the reigning WBA World Featherweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, six seconds of round number 10. The red corner retires their fighter and referee Bob Williams accepts their retirement. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated and still WBA featherweight champion of the world, Nick. There was a touch of the Anfield about that roar at the end of it. That's one of his long-term ambitions. He grew up as a youngster watching Liverpool FC on the cop, idolising Jamie Carragher and Steven Gerrard. He said he was a bit too lively and a bit too aggressive to make it as a footballer. We see the reasons why, but he's found his sport, he's found his trade, he's found his life through boxing. And he's repaying the city now for all the faith that so many people in Liverpool have had in him. The temperament's something else, Richie. You'd think he'd just been out for a little jog around the block <laughs> and in for three rounds in the Everton yeah. Red Triangle. You know, he's, he's probably the most exciting uh, British boxer at the moment, Paul, in, in the country. Perfect um, homecoming there, in first defence of his title. And he'll be looking, obviously, to unify the titles. To be an undisputed champion will probably be his dream. And yes, to box at Anfield, I think that's what he really wants to do. That is a dream of his. But un to unify the division, I think, would be um, a, a big dream that he'd like. Thank you, Richie. We're going to hand it over now to Becky Ives. Nick Ball. Wow. What a performance. A homecoming here in Liverpool. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, delighted, yeah. Massive turnout for me. And um, to be honest, I think I got a... Uh... A bit carried away with the crowd about how good it was and uh, got it with a few too many shots, but it is what it is, and I'm sure they uh, all make for a good fight, isn't it? so it's exciting. Yeah, how much credit needs to go to Ronnie Rios there? You had him down in the third, but he just weathered that storm. Yeah, he's a tough man, and uh, he come back as well, to be fair to him, so all respect to him, yeah. You cut your nose in there, how much did that affect the fight? You know, my nose always goes, yeah, it's boxing, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, you're going to get a little nosebleed, but... So uh, it's what makes champions come to it and uh, bounce back. Look, it's your first defence of this world title. Just take a look around at all these fans that have come here to see you. How does that make you feel? Can't really explain it, to be honest. Special, special feeling. And um, I want to thank every single one of them who's come out to support me and bought tickets. I wouldn't be uh, doing what I'm doing without them, so I appreciate it all. All right, what's next? There is talk of the Vargas rematch. Do you want that? New way, what are you after? Yeah, just the ones with the, the other belts. I've got one of uh, one of four, there's another three out there, so coming for them, coming for them belts, and uh, that green one will be, uh, it'll be nice to get because that should be mine anyway, so hopefully get that one. Let's bring your trainer in here. Paul, how proud are you tonight of what you saw in that? Yeah, that was amazing, that um, fight of the year, you know, what a tough man Ronnie Rias was because, you know, Nick, uh, Nick had him finished early in round three and he just came back to life and and the, them shots up, up close there with every so full credit to him. But Nick is a force in nature, he's unstoppable. He's, uh, he's just getting better with every fight. Good learning fight. So now um, Nick's on course to become one of the, you know, the best fighters in the world with some of the biggest fights out there. You mentioned the new A and Vargas. Well, great names, you know, let's get them on as soon as possible, let those, those fellas. Do you agree with Frank Warren when he says he's one of the most exciting fighters in the world? Yeah, for me, he's the most exciting fighter in the world. To do that, what he's doing at that level, obviously, he's world champion and, uh, and the, the people he's been in with. Yeah, he's the most exciting fighter in the world, one of the, one of the best fighters in the world. Special night in Liverpool as well for you, just with the Red Triangle gym, all the guys delivering. Yeah, I mean, our gym's been going 100 years in this, uh, in this area, uh, just up the road. And this is an excellent night for us. Five wins, uh, four stoppages, four knockouts, you know, and uh, just what a... A night for the ages for the, you know for our team, but 
just one of many more to come. You know, we're only just getting started. Nick, I'm going to give you the final word. What would you like to say as you leave this arena and this crowd go home? Just a massive thank you to everyone who's come out again. Um, special moment for me, special feeling, yeah. Uh, I'll always remember that and um, I appreciate it all. And a massive thanks to my team, everyone at Everton Red Triangle, Paul Stevenson, Andy Humphries, everyone at Peak Performance, Tom Christian as well, for getting me to this point in my career. Appreciate it. Enjoy this. Well done. Thank Congratulations. You. Oh, what a fight. <laughs> Relentless for round one. Absolutely brutal from Nick Ball. Just kudos as well to his opponent because that must have been, I mean, the fight.